In this video, we are sharing the process we use to make the Celtic clock in wood. To get things started, we have to do our preparation. The first part of the process is selecting the wood that we're going to use, preparing it for the project, developing the design in preparation for the making. The way this idea came about, I was looking for a new design for a clock, and I was looking at a shape that we already use, and I had the idea to adapt it into a Celtic weave. Once we have that design ready, we can stick it onto the wood itself using a PVA glue solution. We then prepare our scroll saw, adding a new blade so we're going to get a better quality cut and proceed with the making of our Celtic clock. Stack cutting is a method you'll see us using time and again, and with this project, if we cut two out at the same time, it's preferable. So we super glue those two layers together and then proceed to drill all the holes for doing the pierce work on the project. Also use a spike to mark out where the smaller drill holes are going to go. sand the back of the project to get it nice and flat and start to cut out our project on the scroll saw. Our preferred method of doing these projects is to cut out all the pierce work, all of those internal holes first. This is especially important when you're doing stack cutting because you've got those two layers stuck together. So by doing the pierce work first of all, all of those drills are going to be the same on the two layers of our projects. Before we even get to the scroll saw, we work out which parts we're going to leave attached to the surround to give the design strength and which bits we're going to cut away to allow us to create the shape of the design. Scroll sawing is indeed a significant part of this process. It gives us that basic outline that afterwards we can use hand carving to add extra detail and finish to the projects. Once the pierce work is completed, we can then cut out the surround. So you're cutting the surround of the two layers at the same time. And then it's across to the workbench to continue with the process and begin hand carving everything out. We begin the process of hand carving by focusing on the eternity sign. We then begin to work on the continuous weave around the outside. So that's where a lot of the time will be spent carving, is to create that effect where the continuous weave surround is overlapping under and over itself. We also shape this continuous weave, and afterwards we can then round all of that off by sanding it to add a more refined finish. We use the oscillating sander just to smooth the inside of where the clock insert will go. The belt sander comes in useful to flatten off any lumps and bumps on the back. We hand sand everything and then focus on the finishing where we'll add three coats of shellac sanding sealer, rub it down in between each coat and you can always add an extra layer of linseed oil mixed with beeswax. So there you go, that is our Celtic clock hand carved in a beautiful piece of recycled oak. If you've got any questions or thoughts, get them in the comments section below. Thank you all again for watching. If you've enjoyed that one, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And as always, we'll be back again soon with more videos.